Please, we need a sneaker series. I loved your three videos from the Arabic channel. We need this series. Well, what did you want to talk about? 4D technology? Oh, how crazy the Yeezys are becoming. Okay, this is Ahmed Bariki, but you can call me Slorix and um, another episode of Ask Me Anything. Of course, I'm gonna be answering your questions that you left on the post from last week. And please write me your questions on this post so I can answer them next week. And at the beginning of the video, I just wanted to say Eid Mubarak for everybody. And I know this is tough times for us to celebrate, but within the Sunnah, we are supposed to be happy with Eid al-Fitr coming around after fasting. And trust me, what's going on in Palestine right now, the least we can do is pray for them. And of course, we will always pray for them, but show your support and love with whatever way you can to help our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Will you buy the new Galaxy Book Pro? And I hope to do a review for a device. I'm thinking of buying it. Therefore, I want to know if it's suitable for me or not uh, through your reviews. Well, uh, in terms of hardware, it is up to scale with all the other laptops. The only added benefit that will get you is if you are already invested in a Samsung Galaxy device, it'll work seamlessly with it due to the software optimizations that Samsung put alongside Windows. So if you are already invested in Samsung's smart things and Samsung products, like a Samsung Galaxy phone or a Galaxy watch or a Galaxy tab or what have you, buying that laptop will be an added value for you given that you're gonna be involved in the ecosystem even more. But if you're not, then maybe you can find something that is similarly spec but in lower price. Is the iPad Air 4 better than the iPad Pro for students? Yes, because you will get the processing capabilities that you need as a student and it's gonna support the Apple Pencil and it comes with that bezel-less design and even better, that comes with a, with a touch ID, a physical touch ID. So if you are a student looking to invest in an iPad, the new iPad Air is a very good choice. Uh, what if every company had its own ecosystem and can you please make a video about your experience with the Apple ecosystem? If every company had its own ecosystem, it's gonna be a whole different market today. Given that every time you invest in one product, you're gonna be you know, bordered in its uh, uh, ecosystem walls and you cannot leave that company. And honestly, I can talk about that with, with my experience with Apple lately and uh, in terms of me being more involved in the Apple ecosystem than ever, honestly. And um, yeah, if that's something that you guys care about, Maybe I can do this really soon. I had never experienced the feeling when my favorite YouTuber answers my question. It's really a good feeling. I appreciate that. And I ask Allah all the best for you and your guidance and bless you. Habibi, anytime. I'm interested to know your thoughts on cryptocurrency. Do you think it's the future of transactions? Yes, sir, I do. I made a video on my Arabic channel a couple of years back when the cryptocurrency was trying to pick up again. Um, Cryptocurrency is the future, there's no doubt, especially because of deregularization, which is what's unique about Bitcoin or cryptocurrency in general. And that's what people want, more freedom, less restrictions, and uh, less depending on, on war, depending on politics, depending on any of this stuff to basically drive currencies to go up or down. So cryptocurrency, funny enough, is not related to that, but can be related to other stuff. Um, if you didn't know, uh, Elon Musk recently said that he will stop using Bitcoin as a form of currency accepted to buy Tesla cars, and that dropped the price of Bitcoin. Stuff like that always will affect anything related to cryptocurrency or your, or your traditional currency. But at the end of the day, the cryptocurrency is the future. And one day, I think people are gonna be paid via cryptocurrency. So your salary will be, um, I don't know, 138th of a Bitcoin monthly. Do you think we will see an iPhone with M1 chip? I spoke about this, I think, last week. We will see eventually an iPhone with a some form of an M1 chip, but not this iPhone, not anytime soon. I'm one of the older subscribers you have, six years plus, just wondering why are your subscribers not increasing like before and why the views are so much lower than two, three years before? What do you think happened or are people bored from tech videos in our region in general? Best of luck, all the love, boss. All right, so I spoke about this, I think on my Arabic channel and I think you're reflecting about my Arabic channel given that I haven't made videos in this channel for a very long time. Honestly, this channel has picked up much faster than the Arabic channel and I don't know if it's the English speaking or the fact that there's just things happening now, but hopefully it stays going forward. Let's hit that 100K real soon. But on my Arabic channel, I think what happened is that we, we have so many cooks in, in the same kitchen. That's what I believe. Um, when it first started, there was only a handful of us and the content that you were seeing that I created and that other guys created, it was the only content that you would want to see. But now we have a huge number of new content creators that are tackling the same topics that we do. So I think I don't want to call them like competition, but 
At the end of the day, we are in the same space. So what happens is the new generation starts making videos for the sake of videos and you see more people derive to follow that. And then of course there's the age groups. That's also a difference. I think the YouTube algorithm works in a very strange way. And I have a huge problem with YouTube when it comes to the algorithm, I'm trying to fix that. But honestly, I think the reason of my decline of engagement that happened over the last year mostly was related to the algorithm, but also related to the fact that I was not as active as the year before that or the year before that, given to COVID and, and everything that happened. So that's my answer. Why do you have so many sneakers and what do you do with them? Well, I put them on, sir. I wear them and I go out. I have plenty of sneakers because I'm a sneakerhead and I've been a sneakerhead for as long as I remember. And lately I've been exclusively working with Adidas due because Adidas has been always my favorite brand. And finally I got to work with them about three years ago, we started. So now I became exclusively Adidas sneakerhead, if that's a thing. Um, in terms of technology, that's the reason that I started talking about it. It's because of the technologies that you get in sneakers. But I've always been a sneakerhead because I love how they look. I love how they feel on my feet. And um, it's one of those things that I'm crazy about. And you know what? Let's hit two birds with one stone. Hum, Adidas, what about Nike? Ah. For, for the longest time, I've been wearing Nikes. I remember in high school, I had my Adidas uh, Gazelles, I had my Superstars, and I also had my Nike Uptempos 97, and of course the Air Max. And I loved them, I loved them so much. And for the longest time, I was obsessed with my Nikes, especially with that technology and the air bubbles that you get. But they've been lagging, they've been lagging. And um, the, the Boost is such a good technology that Adidas has started using in their sneakers that gives it comfort and gives it the styling that is completely unique. And we see other companies started taking suit like Pumas, like Nike also with their Zoom Flies, you get those same materials of the Boost particles that are put in the Adidas. So all of a sudden the Nikes became followers rather than leaders and obviously Adidas became leaders. And that's why no Nike sneaker excites me now um, as much as they used to. Hey, Slorix, why don't you focus your English content into a different niche instead of cloning your Arabic channel? All the best, big man. Um, well, I'm not cloning my Arabic channel as much as I'm trying to make the content that I make in Arabic available in English. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm not targeting MKBHD's audience or Unbox Therapy's audience. That's not my target. My demographics are still in the Arab world. I'm still targeting the MENA region, which is Middle East and North Africa, but the English speakers in this region. I don't think it's beneficial for an English speaker to watch an MKBHD video that talks about a phone that is not launching here, or a phone that is exclusive to Verizon, or something that is related to something that is not available here whatsoever. But at the same time, you could easily be an English speaker. You could easily be an expat. You can easily be somebody from the States or somebody from Europe or somebody from India or somebody from the Philippines or somebody from any of those countries that lives in this region that is deprived of technology content in a language that they can understand. And that's why I'm cloning or that's why I'm translating my Arabic content into English because those are the people that I'm targeting. I'm not targeting the Americans or the Europeans or anything like that because I don't know what they have to offer. I don't live there. I still live here. You're great, Ahmed. When you make a podcast with Nawaf Azir, don't allow to Nawaf to show Android is bad, bro. Nawaf is an Apple fanboy. He believes everything is better with Apple. We love you because you love Android and he tells the truth. Uh, first of all, not to degrade of Nawaf in any way or form. He's a brother. He's a friend. We really have a good relationship despite of what people think. And yes, there is a podcast episode that I'm planning to do with Nawaf. I still don't know the mechanics and what we're going to do it and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, he's entitled to his opinion. I'm entitled to mine. Um, I do believe Nawaf is a super fanboy when it comes to Apple, which doesn't even allow him to use anything else. Um, at the same day, I believe that you have the right to choose and I like choosing and trying everything. So thank you for your support and I'll see the mechanics of when we can do a podcast with Nawaf. So last question, uh, how did your English be this good? Uh, let's see the reply. I think I talked about it already, national school. Uh, no, actually my English became this good because I went to an American school, not a British school, an American school. And I've been in an American system since I, I believe KG2 or maybe the first grade and I graduated from from high school so I did all of elementary school I did all of middle school I did all of high school in American and then I went to college and it was university I was also an American system so the, this is how I learned 
But for me to maintain the accent, for me to maintain the language, it's because my friends, I have a lot of friends that are American and I have a lot of friends that are Kuwaiti, but their mothers are American or vice versa, right? And because we speak in English, we do, we speak all the time in English and I feel more comfortable expressing my feelings and my thoughts in English. I do all the reading in English and maybe you see me talking in English like this is very easy for me. It's because I prefer it to be honest over certain videos, especially when it comes to tech. A lot of people complain on my Arabic channel that I use a lot of English words. They're not complaining in this video <laughs> and they're not complaining that I'm using Arabic words in this video just because I read the news in English and I talk about them in English. It's much easier than reading them in English and trying to find the right word in Arabic. I don't need to use my brain as much, but that's the reason why I think my English is good. Practice, my friend, practice. If you know English, just use it all the time and, and practice. And that's how you get better at it. So another week and I think we tackled all your questions. I'm very happy that we're keeping this AMA version, Ask Me Anything Alive. And please write down your questions for next week and we'll get to them and we'll answer them. And make sure you subscribe. If you like this type of content, we got a lot of new things coming and I'm working on something. You guys will be bored in my face. That's how much you'll be seeing me a lot more in the coming days. So yeah, please consider subscribing if you're not already and enabling the notification bell for whatever comes new. And as always, thank you for watching the video until the end and I'll see you guys in the next one. And of course, as always, take it easy.